piece in from the black holes of Dakota Territory. Well, the white holes now. United States of absurdity. Stan Jibalisco here. Uh, the other day, my downstairs video production computer, the big old six-core monster, decided that it was going to install Windows 8.1 rather than Windows 8.0, and I was not going to be given any choice about the matter. So it went ahead and did it. Well, the process did not go particularly smoothly, and I suppose those of you who have had this happen have experienced, uh, some of you have experienced similar difficulties. The first real big problem was that the mouse wouldn't work. Everything else seemed to, but the mouse wouldn't. So I couldn't, I couldn't uh, adjust the thing. I had to uh, play around with it, and I finally found out that just refreshing it, I finally found out how to click the keyboard to make it refresh the whole system. Pretty much had to reinstall the whole bloody thing all over again. And then it worked. And uh, But there are a lot of things, a lot of different operating systems. This iPad has an operating system called Safari. And I believe it's version 5, which lets me upload videos to YouTube. Aren't, doesn't that make you happy? And uh, another computer has Windows 7. Another one has Windows XP. It's offline. It's, it, it's uh, unplugged. It has nothing to do with the net. But it still works, and I need it uh, for various purposes, various porpoises, and I use it. Uh, there's Windows 8.0, and then I have a Microsoft Surface Pro 2 that has Windows 8.1. All kinds of different operating systems, and uh, it makes you wonder sometimes why the heck don't they just standardize it all. Make one operating system for everybody, and just, you know, upgrade it from time to time, but leave the basic interface the same. And then I best started to think, well, you know, I sort of like tweaking around with this stuff. I mean, the worst thing that a computer can do to you is not work. It's not going to, like, throw you in jail or beat you over the head with a hammer. It's not going to kill your mother or anything like that. It's just going to not work. And every time, I think just about every time that stuff like that has happened, I've managed to figure out how to do it. Uh, you have to go back and do it over and over again. Sometimes you sleep on it, and then you do it again. And I, I, not that I'm terribly proud of myself all the time, but uh, I have to give myself some credit for being able to pull this off while under the influence of that awful clonazepam. If I hadn't been under the influence of that, maybe I'd have been too sharp to figure out how to do it. Because a lot of these operating systems are really pretty stupid when you get down to it. And they, they make you do things you don't necessarily want to do. And you have to figure out how to shut those features off. Uh, all this stuff. But I, I, I actually sort of have some fun with that. I find it sort of fun. Maybe I'm just masochistic among all my other hang-ups. But maybe you'll like it. Maybe you should try it and, you know, get about 20 different computers and play around with them. And then you'll always have one that works. <laughs> you hope. Stan Jibalisco signing off for now from the black holes, I mean white holes, of Dakota Toritary, United States of absurdity. I'm trying to think of a word that describes absurdity. So I guess absurdity will work. Until next time, peace out. Enjoy those operating systems, whether they force you upon, force you upon them or not. So long.